Hey, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. Well, you know what this view means. Yeah, you're right. Time to spray some paint. Um, so, frame, axles, front suspension, rear suspension, and the bottom of the pan are going to be going a gunmetal gray. I'm using Model Masters. And also on top of that, real lightly in spots, we're going to use, oh, I think this is aluminum. Oh, silver. On top of that in places, um, we're trying to get a look of raw metal. Um, raw metal is a little dark. The edges, you know, the tops in here are a little bit light. But also remember, we're going to be doing a light rust treatment to all the parts of this whole entire truck. So, yeah. Um. I can get you guys set up in the booth and we're gonna spray some color on this truck. Exciting times. All right, guys, we're out of the booth. Things look a little bit different than uh, they did in the time lapse. So after spraying that, doing some other things, I wasn't real happy with the end result. <clears throat> so, I redid it. I'll explain the process on how I got to what you see in front of you. Um, the first thing I did is I went back with that gunmetal gray. Um, and then I ended up going on top of that with uh, some acrylic burnt umber. Um, I think burnt umber. Yeah. <clears throat> and then um, I went through with a Q-tip <clears throat> on top of this frame and wiped off the burnt umber to give me kind of a raw metal edged look to it. Um, I know my camera doesn't do justice on what this really looks like. I'm sorry. Get my dog fur out of there, but I ended up doing that <clears throat> Taking a q-tip and just on like a 45 wiping all that burnt umber back off um, Along with wiping in places Throughout the frame to kind of give it a little bit more Dimension um, and then I went over I think with raw sienna on top of that lightly sprayed a coat on top of all the parts um, <clears throat> And then I rusted if you guys aren't familiar of my 32 Ford diorama build, um, I did the exact same rust treatment on that entire truck. Um, I did it pretty lightly on these components. Um, we're going to be doing the same treatment we did on the 32 on the cab and hood, pieces like that. But to give credit where credit is due, this is not my technique. And I will not be showing how to actually do it out of respect for the guy that came up with this process. Um, <clears throat> but we'll take a closer look now here. Um, here is the floor pan all rusted out. Did uh, the rear axle. Underside. There's the top. And then, <clears throat> excuse me guys, uh, the control arms. They turned out absolutely fabulous. Um, I love this rust technique. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link to his uh, Facebook, um, but yeah, he's uh, on Ozzy's custom model shop. <clears throat> you can find some of his builds and stuff that he's done on there using this rust technique. Um, he does an absolute little, absolutely phenomenal um, rust technique, and I. I I can't say enough about it. Um, if you guys seen pictures of the 32 Ford, <clears throat> you'll know what I'm talking about. So, but there you guys go. Um, next week's video, we will be doing the rust technique on the cab. I won't be showing you step by step. Again, I'm sorry, 
but I will show you what I dare to show. Um, <clears throat> the same stuff that I did on the 32 Ford I will be showing. But till next time guys, this is Dragon Speed Shop. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm out of here.